What is going on guys? Welcome to Flat Tutorials. This is the fourth episode of the AI series. Um, and yeah, so in today's episode, um, we're going to provide our car some sort of torque or some sort of, you know, force on the wheel so that it can walk on the path, uh, walk on the predefined path that we have created in the earlier episodes. So yeah, let's just move on to it and, uh, and yeah. Okay. So as you can see, I got my car over here and my path already set up. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start the scripting because it is pretty easy. I don't think there is anything to be explained. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, you can understand while I'm doing the code. Okay, so first thing uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable and uh, uh, let's name it center of mass because this is really important uh, you know let me just complete it vector 3 it's not a float this time it's gonna be a vector 3 and uh, we're gonna go for it and go rigid body dot center of mass equals our variable center of mass now what this means uh, center of mass is a vector 3 variable of course um, rigid body dot center of mass sets a center of mass or a point as a center of mass in a in, in a rigid body and for a rigid body so that's what that's what it is so um, now, now the problem is with uh, with this is that uh, the center of mass differs in every single model of car now if you have some sort of big huge car then you know if you have huge wheels then the then a center of mass might might be uh, really lower like a negative 1.5 but in my case it is negative 0 0.9 and this stabilizes the car pretty well so I'm just gonna put it uh, negative 0 0.9 because I have tested a couple of times and uh, it works pretty fine for me okay so uh yeah that's pretty much it now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna tell our car to if you if if a car reaches at the one path object it should go forward and go for the next path object um, okay so that's what it is if you if you currently go over your rival car and uh, uh, let me see uh, current path object is set to zero okay now let me show you one thing it's just a really quick thing okay so if I move my car over here you can see it is zero oh sorry this is the point okay so it is zero it is still a zero and it's always gonna be zero because it is not changing because we didn't program the program it to do so so we're gonna tell our car to if you reach at this point then go forward in the path that's all we're gonna tell it so let's just move on to the code and uh, as I told you earlier that steer vector the magnitude of a steer vector is just the distance between the car and the path object now this is what we're gonna use okay so first thing first is we're gonna create a new variable which is gonna be dist or distance from that now what this means let me just finish it up and I'm gonna go for 20 okay so what is distance from path means uh, in this case distance from path means um, you know let me just code it up and you will understand it and we're gonna go if steer vector dot magnitude is smaller than or equal to dist from path then uh, go far go far go far uh, current let's say current path object and increment it by one that's it and uh, oh wait 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 I got a problem over here with this this should be fine and uh, you know we're gonna check one more thing else if 
um, you know I'm gonna put this code inside this line of code so we're gonna go for if let's say current current path object is greater than or equal to path um, path dot length then do this current path object set it to zero okay so what this line of code means uh, this okay so this is the distance between uh, between the car and b between the rival car and the object uh, and, and the path object so if the distance is lower than the than this value then what what uh, then we then the car will know that it has to move on for the next for the next um, uh, for the next path object and uh, uh, that's pretty much it and uh, this statement just for the security th what this statement does is um, it checks if if it is equal to or greater than the path length then set it to zero because there are no elements beyond that so this is just a security this is for the security reason that's all it, all it is okay so yeah uh, let's just test it out oh wait unknown identifier current 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 okay T. let's see what the hell um current oh, T is not working or something I don't know let's see no, I shouldn't be there okay now let's just test it out okay now all you have to do is to keep your it is already three all right uh just wait a second uh, I'm just gonna set it to let's say five that would be fine okay so current path object is zero and as I move over here as the distance is uh, smaller than five it uh, set it to equal to uh, set it to one which means it has to go forward now and when I reach here it said go to two which is this one cool right it is working now so that's all we need to worry about now um, actually it's not something we have to worry about anyway set it to 20 and uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna add torque to the wheels um, so let's just go ahead and copy this line of code uh, the hole and paste it and we're gonna go for RL R R and uh, now once we have the steer uh, we wanted to move our car so I'm just gonna create a function name move and uh, just go to function move there you go okay so the very first thing that I, uh, I wanted to do is to calculate the you know this is not the first thing I wanted to do what I wanted to do is to set the max torque that's all what I, what I wanted to do right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new variable and uh, name it max and I'm gonna set it to wait a second set it to float which is gonna be 50 and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go for wheel RL dot motor torque set to max torque max torque and uh, next one is RR so I'm just going to copy paste it okay now I shouldn't give us any error okay so these are two wheel colliders that we have to provide okay wheel colliders RL uh, this is my powered wheels this is my rear wheel powered car so and uh, this pad is kind of lame so I'm just gonna change it and create a new one so I'm just gonna delete these path objects delegate it okay let's just go ahead and uh,
Okay. I guess this will gonna work. And there you go. Completed the socket. Let's see. Okay, our car is going. Our car is going. Oh wait, wait, I have a I have the fog on. Wait a second, wait a second. Render settings. Don't need fog. Okay. You know, orthographic view will be right for this. Okay. Well, let's just see what is gonna happen. Okay, our car is going. Let's turn around. Okay, it's pretty cool. Oh, why is flipped? No problem. Oh yeah, it exceeded its limit. Okay, so what we're gonna do because it is flipping, we have to limit its speed and um, deaccelerate it at a you know if it has exceeded exceeded that limit, we have to deaccelerate it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a new variable which is gonna be current to speed current is speed and I'm gonna set it to a uh, float float or float I don't know F L O A T float and uh, next variable top speed float uh, and uh, I wanna set the fly uh, chopper speed to 150 for now and uh, what is gonna be the next one variable let's say deceleration of speed so it's gonna be D-E-C-E -E. uh, I don't know what actually is uh, deceleration I guess I spelled it right I don't know float I'm gonna set it to 10 alright now I'm gonna copy deceleration speed because I might forget what it is. So uh, first thing that I like to do is to calculate the current speed. Now in the in the car control series, I have told how to calculate the uh, the current speed in kilometer per hour, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do over here. So it's gonna be current speed equals two pi r. It's gonna be twenty two by seven. Sorry, 22 by 7, which is the pi value, and um, it is gonna be. Let's say I take a wheel, wheel RL dot radius times it to this times times it to uh, wheel wheel. God damn it, wheel RL dot rpm and we're gonna times it to 60 by 1000 sorry times it to 60 by 1000 there you go now what we have to do is uh, we have our current speed and we're gonna round it up just for simplicity so it's gonna be current speed equals math f math f math f math f Dot round. I'm gonna go for current speed. Current speed, and there you go. Now we have everything set up. Uh, now all we wanted to do is a simple thing. We're gonna go for if current speed. Current is speed is uh, smaller than or equal to let's say top speed. Top speed. Then add the motor torque. All right, and uh, set the brake torque to zero. Uh, but we'll do that later. And uh, else, if it is not, if it is exceeded that limit, wh what you have to do is to set it to deacceleration speed. So I'm just gonna go for it, and I'm gonna copy this. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go for wheel RL dot brake torque equals to deceleration speed. And uh, same for wheel RR. Uh, one more thing I like to do is to set the motor torque to zero. Okay, so it's gonna be Control C. Set the motor torque to zero. And uh, at the top, I want to set the brake torque to zero. So it's gonna be zero, zero. 
All right, so let's see if it go if it's gonna work or not. Okay, so we have max torque, current to speed, top speed, deceleration of speed, and uh, no errors. So let's move on. Okay, it's going. No problems. No problems. Okay, I have to think about that flipping problem. Uh, I said flipping, alright. God damn it. Okay, let's see. Should work now. I mean, I have flattened the surface. Okay, it is working pretty fine. And I'm cool with that. Okay, so in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to, you know, I don't know, uh, I might, uh, no, I have not decided what I'm going to show you in the next episode. Um, let's see what I'm going to show you. What I'm going to show you is, uh, is the wheel rotation, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to show you the wheel rotation and the wheel positioning system in the rival car. Uh, you know, let's do one more thing to make it look cool. So I'm just going to go main camera. And in the car section, I'm going to add my rival car right here. Let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What is going on? Oh, it's not turned on. Okay. Okay. It's kind of cool. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we're going to fix that... Um, uh, that... Uh, problem which is uh, which it is having right now of uh, standing up from this side and we will we'll fix that uh, pretty easily uh, by uh, by lowering the steer angle at higher speeds that's all we, what what we have to do okay so I think it is looking it looks pretty fine and uh, yeah so I'll catch you in my next episode till then goodbye and uh, if you have any problems you can go on to my Facebook page or my blogs for um, you can post uh, questions there and uh, and what uh, the link uh, the script that is uh, created in this video will be uh, linked in the description if you want it if you are having problem of uh, of watching in this video uh, you can copy it from the description and uh, yeah I'll catch you in my next episode till then good bye. <laughs>